everybody, welcome back to Tumbleweed Adventures. We are doing another adventure this weekend. We're driving up to Squamish. Uh, we're gonna find some trails up there. We're not sure which one we're gonna take yet, but I think we're just gonna drive around. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna wing it basically. So here in BC, it's been a really, really, really cold spring and into summer so far. Like it's the middle of June. We're still wearing like sweaters and jackets and jeans. So I have a sneaking suspicion that a lot of the trails and the mountains are still going to have snow on them, which is typically something. If you're going off-roading in snow, be careful, bring extra gear. So we're going to try to avoid it because we didn't bring any extra gear. So <laughs> Yeah, it's a different kind of summer so far. Um, right now it's pretty overcast. It was raining a little bit. Normally by this time it's like scorching hot, but not this year I guess. But yeah, this is the Sea to Sky Highway that goes up to Squamish, Whistler, and then up north. Very nice drive. vlog much because going through these windy roads I kind of get car sick sitting here. Kinda. If anyone's Kinda. wondering if anyone's wondering why I'm never driving it's because Oh my god says, he goes so fast. He's like feel the turbo I'm like where's my helmet like strap me in <laughs> Apparently I drive too fast and she gets really car sick when I drive so whenever we're in oh, what? the ranger here. Oh my god there's someone like pulling me yeah, uh, I think someone's car broke down off the side of the highway, but hope he's okay. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so in these vlogs, I won't be driving much because she gets car sick. I think I'm just so used to my car and I take corners pretty fast apparently. Really fast. Like your car doesn't have like a look out, you might roll sign. It has one on the truck. No, really, look, it's right here. Look. That you should wear a seatbelt and that you can roll. Look, that could be us. If I drove. Just kidding. Kind of. But really. Just kidding. Again. He's a great driver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ba da bum bum bum. I'm loving it. Quick pit stop. Picking up some McDonald's. Yep. We just wanted something quick and easy. Okay, so we got our McDonald's. We both got a McChicken meal. Uh, supposed to be regular McChicken, but they gave us one habanero by accident. If you can zoom in there. Uh, Mandy is actually out uh, grabbing some gas right now, but I'm gonna give her this one and see if she notices she hates spicy foods. So, I'm just gonna tuck this tag back in. I'm gonna give her this one, and then we're gonna see her reaction. She's just gonna think it's a regular McChicken. Um, hopefully it'll be pretty funny. Hey babe, do you want your McChicken now? A few moments later. It's like what? It's getting worse. It's like. <laughs> Stop Why? It. It's just regular mayonnaise. It's orange. What's orange? What's orange? 
did you do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> So we're out here, we're not even like halfway there and there's already some snow. So we might see some snow out on this, uh, out on this road. I think maybe like 15 minutes down the road, I think we're gonna hit some snow. Yes! So, I say 15 minutes down the road, but not even 30 seconds down the road, there's already some snow. Uh, so this will be quite interesting. This is the first time we're gonna take our Ford Ranger on the snow. But not deep snow. If it gets any worse than this, we have to turn around. But I will put it into four high and I'll put it into the gravel grass snow option, as you can see. So, all right, here we go. So those terrain modes, sorry, I'm just rolling off the window. Those terrain modes uh, kind of just changes the settings of um, the throttle response and the transmission. Um, so hopefully with the minor adjustments, it'll get us through the snow, no problem. <laughs> that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> that was all. Yeah. Oh, there's a vehicle up oh, there. Wow. But quite a bit of snow up there now. This will be interesting. So we hit some snow on the way back. It was pretty deep, but uh, so we decided to turn around since we're the only vehicle there. And it's only going to get worse because we're nowhere near the lake. Um, but we saw another side road just down there. Uh, I think head towards Loon Lake. Uh, so we're going to try to hit up that road. So we're just on our way back now and hopefully next time we can bring a group out and we can actually be more confident going through snow and deep snow but it was pretty bad but there's Callie she loves running behind the truck <clears throat> so whenever we can when there's it's wide enough and there's no vehicles we just let her out and then she just wanders behind the truck and this ties her out too, gives her some exercise, but she seems to really enjoy this. Oh, they're really far ahead, I gotta kinda run run up and catch up here. She really enjoyed that. Yeah, she was just running behind you. That's good. That's how dogs are supposed to get. So, you can just keep driving and then I'll walk back here with Kelly. Jump in the back. Get in the bed. Let's go. Okay. That sounds really <sighs> Go ahead. She's behind us.
This trail here is not as well traveled as we thought. Well, considering I drove past, I'm like, what's that thing in the bush? And I look and it's a sign pointing to this trail saying, Moon Lake. So I think because the sign was like probably hit a couple years ago, no one's taken this for so long and it's so overgrown. Like we're driving through like trees right now. Well, not through them, but definitely over them. I don't know. I didn't Google Maps this road, so I have no idea where it's taking us. But it said Loon Lake. Uh, guys, it happened again. Welcome to Canada. We are out here. Doesn't help that I'm in neutral. We are out here trying to find this lake and everywhere we go there's snow it is the middle of june and there's not any available trails because look what the heck uh, okay well that's it for the trails i guess yeah this... I, don't, I don't think we're gonna make it it's pretty icy actually because it rains quite a bit here, so overnight it just kind of freezes and turns into ice. And I feel like we might not make it up these hills on the way back. And I don't even want to get out to like explore because this is like fine bear territory. All right, everyone, just to show you an example of how deep this snow is. It's kind of soft, but really slippery. And it gets very deep. <laughs> very fast. I don't think we're taking this route today. Made it kind of far though. They're fine. So much. Easy. Lots of clearance. Here's a better view of kind of how this terrain is. We thought it looked a lot bigger, but it's actually not too bad. But what we're heading to is, uh, I think it's pronounced North Air. What is it called? North Air Mines? I think it's North Air. Norm's Stairs. Norm Stairs. Norm's Stairs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just down there. Just right over here. I think that's where we're headed. Just down this road now. Oh my god, sorry. And then, oh, there's a bug on my head. But lots of mosquitoes are here, so I'm going to get back in. Why are you taking that outside? <sighs> Yep, we're almost there. This is actually a pretty cool spot. This is also another location I accidentally found like years ago on Google Maps, but I could never make it to this place. Actually, yeah, one time we made it with the board escape and it basically broke down shortly after that. <laughs> Definitely, um, you need clearance, to say the least. Clearance, especially for Callahan Lake. So, it's just. Right down here. Uh, well, that's a very welcoming sign. That's a very reassuring. But there's this little. I guess a lot of graffiti artists come down here and they just paint um, this abandoned old mine. Uh, so all the walls are painted. Uh, it looks like they changed up a few of the art pieces actually. That's pretty cool to see. Um, so we're gonna find a parking spot and then we'll go take you guys around and look at some of the graffiti art here. Heading around this mine area, uh, just like this little track that goes around. I don't know if people take their ATVs or dirt bike or anything like that around, but we drove our truck. Uh, we haven't really tested the true kind of capabilities of this truck yet. 
Uh, so we found this little uphill section just right around here. Uh, so she's gonna try to take this hill up. It's actually fairly steep. I'll go down to ground level so you can see. I never had a four wheel drive before this. So this is like a new experience for me because I've taken my little like all wheel drive SUV like places. Nothing like this. So first time for the truck. First time for me. <laughs> so, Let's go. This is the view inside the truck. You can kind of see how steep it is. Um, so we're going to give it a go and I will film from the L side. I think she can make it. I'm going to climb up and see. I think you can too. I need to you. But no, let me see what's up there. Oh, it's actually very steep. As you can see, I'm level right now. So this is actually a great view of the truck and how steep this is. Well, we got to see if you can even turn around here. So she's going to get a little running start, but we're going to see if there's actually a place to turn around first. So I have it sitting in four low with the rear disc locked. No problem with the Ford Ranger. Rear diffs locked. Little course here that I was talking about. There's like a little track that goes all the way around. You can see in the bushes. She's driving the Ranger around. She's probably gonna put on on four low and lock the rear diffs. She's gonna try to climb up this little hill here. But once she climbs up, there's this really nice view of the lake here. So No problem. So it's pretty cool. There's also a road uh, that goes around. I don't know if it, I don't think it goes all the way around the lake, but there's a road. It also goes back down towards the track, but there's a huge ditch that I think only ATVs and stuff can make over there. But here's the aerial view. Really cool spot. This is out side of Squamish, uh, in between Squamish and Whistler. Definitely a hidden gem if you can make it out here. Uh, definitely recommend a higher clearance four-wheel drive as there are some cross ditches you gotta cross over to get here. But really cool spot. Kelly, what do you see? What's up there? Huh? 
How do you get up there? Hey, Should I jump across? No! <laughs> Don't jump across. You're doing like parkour. I see you jumping around and doing backflips. No. Show us your show us your parkour skills. If I were, I would, run, I would like trip. <laughs> That's as far as I go. I can do something like this if it was like on the ground. I am not a parkour person. I can climb, but I can't jump. I think I'm gonna You can maybe walk across that beam. Um, maybe that, that says stop on it. Yeah, this is the mine. It's pretty cool. There's just kind of remaining structures that are here. There's graffiti art everywhere. So we're just going to do a quick walk around here and show you all the different art that's available. How's the view up there? It's really nice. It's really cool. Here, you can show us the view. Yeah. Take a look. Okay, we're gonna do a little walk around of the mine. for us lots of driving and it's about 9 30 right now we just got home and we're pretty hungry so we're just gonna have some dinner relax for the rest of the night and just watch some movies but thanks for tuning in and for those that stay till the end way to go we will see where our next adventure is next week bye